Space Tower, this is Gaspers 22, approaching your airspace requesting landing clearance. Davies, anything on the emergency beacon? Negative. Captain should be picking it up soon, though. Gaspers 22, this is Base Tower. We have a Mayday situation. Go ahead. Base Tower, this is Gaspers 22. An RL-72 full of passengers and crew ditched in the mainland ocean, sending coordinates. No fuel. Pilot attempted a controlled water landing. Copy that. Base Tower waiting for coordinates over. Water landing, Captain. That's a cold one. Coordinates received, Captain. Copy that. Davies, get us on course full throttle. Roger that. Getting us on full throttle. We are getting close. Check the search cam. Copy that. One mile out to coordinate. Should be starting decent. It's worse than we thought, the plane's half underwater. Any signs of life? Negative Cap Giro, Captain. Windows are tinted. I can't see any movement from the inside. Davies, contact Base Tower and inform them of the situation. Gaspers 22 to Base Tower. We have located the downed RL-72. Aircraft is partially submerged. Gaspers 22, base tower copies. Any signs of survivors? Negative, base tower. No visual confirmation of survivors. Understood, Gaspers 22. This is a critical situation. We need to get those people out of there ASAP. We need an immediate access to RL-72 schematics. The sooner we understand the situation, the better. Gaspers 22 to engineer. Request immediate access to RL-72 technical specifications. This is urgent over. Gaspers 22, this is Engineer Sergeant Jackson here. What seems to be the trouble? Sergeant Jackson, we have a critical situation. An RL-72 ditched in the mainland ocean, currently half submerged. We need to assess the possibility of a rescue operation. Half submerged? That's a tough one, Captain. We're talking about passengers. Crew and children. Are in there. Any chances this RL has a remote control feature we could utilize? Perhaps to taxi it to shallow water? Good thought, Captain. Well, that's an interesting thought. Most airlines wouldn't activate it, but some RL-72 models do have a little known remote control software. Hold on, let me check the schematics. Captain, you might be onto something. This specific model does indeed have a remote control system. These folks are lucky you're on the case. Thanks, Sergeant. We appreciate that Gaspers 22 out. What's your plan, Captain? This remote control system might just be our saving grace. But first, we need to get fuel into that plane. And from my thoughts, if we can get the experimental VTOL to hover above the plane, there we can do the refueling. Sounds impossible. Contact the base for immediate scramble of the VTOL. Gaspers, 22, to base control. Request immediate scramble of the experiment VTOL with an external fuel tanker harnessed. This is urgent over. Gaspers, 22, base tower copies. Experimental VTOL on standby. Explain situation further. Through an engineer, we believe that a remote control taxi to shallow waters might be possible. We need to refuel the plane first mid-air. Refueling a submerged aircraft mid-air? That's a daring maneuver, Captain. 
We understand the risk, Base Command, but it's the only chance those people have. Can you get that VTOL prepped with a fuel tanker? Understood, Captain. However, securing a fuel tanker on such a short notice might be an issue. Maybe we look nearby airports. Talk to you soon on that. Gaspers 22 to Base Command. Request MG landing clearance, over. Gasper 22, Base Command copies. Runway clear for immediate landing. Welcome back. Let's get prepped for the next leg. Captain Miller, Lieutenant Davies, welcome back. Just a heads up, your pre-flight check for the VTOL is ready. Arlight, Davies, strap in, you have the comms. Gaspers 22 to base command. Requesting immediate takeoff clearance for VTOL deployment. Over. Gaspers 22, base command copies. VTOL takeoff clearance granted. Wind calm, proceed with caution. Head to field airport, they have a tanker ready. Gaspers 22 copies that. Steady hand on the controls. This light wind caused by waves might make things tricky. Got it, Captain. Fuel transfer in progress. This is Captain Miller, descending for a visual inspection of the plane. Davies, keep me updated on the fuel transfer. Copy that, Captain. Fuel transfer in progress smoothly. Can't see much from this angle. Davies, I heard something. Hear what, Captain? Fuel transfer complete. Ooh, the RL center of gravity seems to be shifting with the additional fuel load. The waves are making it worse. Coming back up. Experiencing stability issue. 
Luckily, there's signs of life on board. Maintain close visual contact as we go to begin. Taxi to shore. Gaspers 22, Hercules 14 copies. Unfortunately, we are running low on fuel and need to return to base. We can't stay here much longer. Copy that. Base tower, this is Gaspers 22. We're experiencing a critical situation on the downed RL. We managed to refuel, but the additional weight destabilizes the aircraft in those waves. Coming back to base, prepare the remote control recovery on the E-2 Hawkeye. Base tower copies. We're clearing the airspace for your approach for your veto. A Coast Guard patrol boat is en route to the plane. E-2 Hawkeye is on standby. Good luck, Captain. May they be with you. Take the tanker back to field airport. See you later. Take care, Captain. Captain Miller, we've got the Hawkeye ready for you. But are you sure about this solo operation? Time is of the essence. Get me hooked up to the Hawkeye's remote control system. The RL has cameras we expect visual contact as our only option. This is Captain Miller, initiating solo remote control operation of the downed RL. Base tower, do you copy? Captain Miller, base tower copies. We're monitoring the situation closely. A rescue team is on standby at closest accessible point by the downed RL. Be careful, Captain. Excellent work, Captain. You've earned some well-deserved rest. Over and out. Another close call, but we pulled it off. Thanks to Davies, the Coast Guard team, and a little bit of luck. In a daring rescue operation, Coast Guard teams successfully saved all passengers from a downed ATR aircraft yesterday. The pilot, Captain Miller, heroically maneuvered the aircraft to safety using a remote-controlled VTOL. 
No casualties were reported, although some passengers sustained minor injuries and were transported to a nearby hospital. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Captain Miller's bravery and quick thinking are being lauded across the nation. Another day, another rescue. Just another day in the life of Gaspers 22.